After our last three videos on Mary Sue's, there is still one important question that needs to be answered. Is Jar Jar a Mary Sue? A Mary Sue is an overpowered and perfectly good character, with no explanation given for that power level. A Mary Sue is typically instantly liked by all of the established characters. Yet at the same time, a Mary Sue doesn't have much of an actual personality. Since the other characters have no apparent reason to like them so much, Mary Sues feel like a wish fulfillment fantasy, more than they feel like actual characters in the story. Finally, being perfectly good and overpowered, typical Mary Sues are also never embarrassed and never fail in important ways, which is one reason why Mary Sues are typically considered bad screenwriting. So, is Jar Jar a Mary Sue? Let's find out. First, Jar Jar is clearly overpowered. When Jar Jar jumps into the lake on Naboo, he executes a 20-foot spinning somersault jump through the air. Later, when Jar Jar finds himself in the midst of an action sequence, squaring off against battle droids, he manages to take out several of them without getting hurt in the slightest. Likewise, no explanation is given for Jar Jar's power level. Now, some fans have developed the theory that Jar Jar is secretly a powerful Sith Lord, a dark puppet master controlling even Palpatine. But perhaps, because Jar Jar is so powerful, whether he is a Sith Lord or not is never revealed in the movies. So an impartial analysis must defer to the fact that no explanation is given for his power level. Next, we'll look at whether Jar Jar is perfectly good. The answer here is that Jar Jar is not necessarily good or evil as much as he is just responding to immediate incentives in his environment. In the D&D alignment system, he would probably be true neutral. However, if we compare Jar Jar's morality to Luke's or Rey's, it is obvious that he does not qualify as perfectly good. Even though Rey is living in absolute poverty, she refuses to sell BB-8 for rations, for example. But Jar Jar is constantly on the lookout for sensory gratifications, even when he is not starving or living below the poverty line. Jar Jar is therefore not perfectly good. Power. Then there is the question of whether Jar Jar has a personality. In one sense, it is obvious that he does. He's vivid, dramatic, clownish, vivacious, and histronic. But on the other hand, there is a concept in psychology called undifferentiated personality. This concept alludes to adults who have failed to develop a definite personality as they grow up, and now have the personality of a child even as adults. Jar Jar seems to fit that bill. He behaves like an overgrown child. So we can't actually conclude that Jar Jar has a personality, but nor can we conclude the opposite. It depends on one's perspective. <laughs> the next point we'll look into is whether Jar Jar is instantly liked by the other characters for no apparent reason. Initially, we note that Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan try to get rid of him, but after that, many of the other characters do start liking him for no apparent reason even promoting him to senator and general. But even so, you can see that much of the supporting cast still doesn't like him. R2-D2 gives him a smack, and it's clear that C-3PO denounces him, so the verdict is mixed here. I find that Jar Jar creature to be a little odd. Quite right, he's very odd indeed. What about feeling like a wish fulfillment fantasy then? Obviously Jar Jar is one of the most hated characters in the franchise. George Lucas had to suffer a tidal wave of fan backlash at his inclusion. So on the face of it, it would seem that Jar Jar does not fit the bill of a wish fulfillment fantasy. However, one cannot take such statements at face value. If you look at how people express themselves when they argue with each other, in the comments on YouTube for example, or if you look at how politicians sound when they argue with each other, you will see that some people clearly consider Jar Jar to be an idol worthy of imitation. So maybe he is a wish fulfillment fantasy to a certain kind of person. Is well seen. Finally, there is the question of whether Jar Jar is ever embarrassed or fails. This question does not leave much scope for analysis, because he practically embarrasses himself in every scene, so the verdict is clear here. Thus tallying up the final score, Jar Jar gets 3.5 out of 7 on the Mary Sue Index one point for being overpowered, and another for his power level being unexplained. Then he gets half a point for each of the following, having no personality when seen in the light of academic psychology, being instantly liked by some of the characters for no apparent reason, 
and feeling like a wish fulfillment to a certain kind of person. That leaves Jar Jar's total Mary Sue score at 50%, which is well ahead of Luke and Anakin, but only half as Mary Sue-ish as Rey. And that is why, holding Jar Jar to the same standards that we hold other characters to, we must conclude that while Jar Jar is not exactly a Mary Sue, he is kind of Sue-ish. Thank <laughs> you.